In 28 days, I'm going to cover questions or topics related to selling your home. Welcome to 28 and 28. I'm the host of Real, Real Estate Analysis with Donnie Weddle. Of Real Estate Analysis with Donnie Weddle. You are watching episode 12. And our topic is how and who reviews the offers for your home. If you've followed the steps in an earlier video, you are now at the stage of reviewing offers from potential buyers. Let's recap the steps you have taken to get to this point. You've interviewed and hired an agent to list your home or decided to go the for sale by owner route. Obviously, you decluttered and depersonalized your home to make sure the potential buyer can see themselves in the home instead of you. The cleanliness during the selling process has been a must. Your agent has hired a professional listing photographer and implemented a marketing strategy. There's been multiple showings since you set the correct list price and made the minor repairs or renovations recommended. So now let's look ahead just a little bit. After your home officially uh, hit the market and buyers had seen it, uh, the offer started rolling in. Well, this is where your real estate agent or attorney is your best advocate and go-to source for advice. If you're in a competitive market that favors sellers, buyers will likely offer at or above asking price. And you might even get multiple bids. On the other hand, if sales are slow in your area, and you don't get many offers, you may have to be amendable to negotiate. When you receive an offer, you have a few choices. Accept the offer as it is, make a counter offer, or reject the offer. A counter offer is a response to an offer where you negotiate on terms and price. Counter offers should always be made in writing and have a short time frame, generally 48 hours or less, for the buyer to respond. You can offer a credit for paint and carpet, but insist on keeping your original asking price in place. For example, or, or offer to leave something behind, you know, certain appliances to sweeten the deal, if you will. While your real estate agent may recommend you take the highest offer, look closely at other aspects of the offer, such as how the buyer is paying. Is it cash versus financing? The type of financing, down payment, amount, any contingencies request uh, for credits or personal property, and the proposed closing date. If you're lucky enough to get multiple offers, you might be tempted to go with the highest one. But be mindful that if a buyer is relying on lender financing, the property has to be appraised. Any shortfall between the purchase price and the appraised value will have to be made up somewhere. Or the deal could fall apart. In a seller's market, your agent should ask for a letter from the buyer starting, excuse me, stating they have the funds to cover the difference between the appraisal and the offer price. Your agent may even request to see bank statements to verify the letter and its accuracy. Keep in mind, as I said, not always is the highest offer the best one to accept. This is where an experienced agent is worth their commission. I will have additional tips and links in the details on my YouTube channel. If you have a question you'd like to see as a topic for my 28 and 28 series, leave it in the comments, please. Also, I would be very appreciative if you would link, like or share this video. 
go over to my YouTube channel, uh, subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell so you get notifications when I upload a new video. I want to thank you for watching Real Estate Analysis with Donnie Weddle.